first guest tonight is a great actor. He goes from Dark Knight to Jedi Knight, Schindler to special skills with the greatest of ease. He is back beating bad guys in the new movie, Honest Thief. It opens in theaters a week from today. Please welcome Liam Neeson. Hey there, how are you? Nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, and I like seeing those uh, flies behind you in the background there. You're a fly fisherman, I know. <laughs> Just for you, yeah. yeah. I want to ask you about that a little bit later. Yeah, okay, good. I, actually, I have something I want to show you a little bit later. But in the first, can I say, where are you right now? Can you tell us? I'm in New York City. Okay. Um, I got here on Monday. Um, before that, I was upstate. I have a house upstate. And uh, I haven't been in New York since February 17th. Were you upstate the whole time uh, during the, the uh, stay at home? I was doing a movie in Winnipeg. And we just about finished before they pulled the shutters on us. I see. On March 19th, 20th. So I've been upstate since March 20th. What did you do all that time uh, since March for, what, seven months, whatever it's been? Jimmy, I'll tell you, it sounds very boring. Mm -hmm. But I've actually read 29, 30, 31 books. That's a lot of books. Wow. Including James Joyce's Ulysses. Oh, wow. And <laughs> Dostoevsky's Time and Punishment, which I had attempted to read like four or five times. It doesn't help because every Russian character in the novel has three different names. <laughs> so um, that was a bitch to get through. You got to get the graphic novel version of that. It's much easier to follow along. The, are these books like you'd always thought, I got to read these, I was maybe supposed to read them in school or? Exactly, not, not necessarily at school, but uh, you know, I always felt, I mean, I'm, you know, in my mid sixties, I'm not to have read James Joyce's He's an Irishman. Certainly, yes. Ulysses, you. Which yes. changed the face of European literature. Uh, not to have read that, I felt very guilty. So I thought, well, coronavirus, that's good. Did this. you like it? Did you do you give it a thumbs up? Yes. Um, <laughs> anybody who hasn't read it before, you should read it very fast because it's just the whole book's like a stream of consciousness. Which of so all it, those books you read was the best? Which one did you enjoy the most? You know, there's a great, uh, I love Nordic noir. Oh. And there's a wonderful writer called um, Henning Mankell. He passed away about two, three years ago. A uh, crime writer, fantastic. Uh -huh. All his books were fantastic. Was he murdered? No. No, he wasn't, okay. I, uh, no. <laughs> maybe you could write something about that. <laughs> Not that, I don't know what's funny about that, but it, uh, anyway, <laughs> how do you? How do you read the books? Are they are do you have the physical books themselves or you're reading on a on an iPad? What do you do? No, I have uh, my wife and uh, my wife's father uh, left a collection of extraordinary books, uh, like real books. Right. Um, but also because I travel so much when I do these movies, I, I take a Kindle, which is my oh my new best friend. Oh and you can you know you can keep a thousand books on these things. Right, yes, I know that. I also, <laughs> Also, when you're in, in, in hotels, uh, the, the bed lights aren't particularly good. The Kindle is perfect because you have a, a light behind it. Are you a technological gadget kind of guy? Jimmy, no. Even no. though I did a year of computer science, as it was called, at Queen's University of Belfast in 1971 to 72. Is that right? Was, uh, Excruciatingly what, painful. What was computer science like in 1971-72? Did, did you have a computer? There was a computer in the back room that we, the students, never saw. <laughs> and the teacher or professor went to open the door. You could hear it going, um, and I think it was like it was like the size of a small room. I was told. I uh, never saw it. Why didn't they show it to you? <laughs> we had to do these little little programs uh, that were incredibly too logical for my mind. Uh -huh. You know, A leads to B, leads to C, leads to D. Um, um, I was useless at it, I was useless. <laughs> and this, uh, it was like a, an episode out of Doctor Who. Every time the store would open, you would hear the hum of this strange machine. Are you sure it wasn't a vending just, machine back there and uh, he's just having <laughs> back having a soda or something? <laughs> <laughs> but but I did I did the course with my sister who started university at the same time as I did and she ended up teaching it. Oh really? Um, with mathematics for 
33, 34 years. So did she see the computer? Did she get a chance to confirm that it exists? Eventually she did. Yeah. She did. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let me ask you about fishing. Did you do any fly fishing while you were up, um, upstate? Very little. Oh. I'll tell you, it was just hot. And the little uh, preserve that I'm a member of, uh, it's a it's a stopped, uh, they, they stopped the creek with fish, but the water levels were very, very low. And I felt the fish were a bit stressed. So I only got out twice. But... I want to ask you because you were you had all summer off, right? Yeah, this I thought Rob Lowe was. I Rob did. Lowe I had this. I had the you summer know. off, and you were very nice. You a couple of times ago that you were with us, you tied some flies for me, which I I have displayed in my uh, in my collection at home. I've not yeah. I've not used them because I I like having them, and I I lose a lot of flies. But I did go up to the South Fork of the Snake River, and there's one of the uh, one of the many beautiful brown trout. Thank you. And no, I'm not giving everyone the finger. It's just the way my, it was not intentional. <laughs> That's a good one though. You see that monster? He's pretty beat up. Now, by the way, are you holding it out like that? So yes. It looks bigger? Yes, the or key is to hold it as far as close to the, if yeah. you have long arms, the fish get bigger and bigger and bigger. But yes, but it was a big, it was a nice sized fish for sure. Oh, good. I was hoping for more excitement hey, from you. Yeah. Do you, have to, do you ever get back to? I remember we talked about Blackberry Farm in Tennessee. Yes, in Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been I there. fished there too. I thought it was beautiful. I yeah, it it's a good spot. It's got all right. We've this has become the Outdoor Life Network. We're going to take a break. When we come back. We're going to see a clip from the new movie, Liam Neeson's Honest Thief. We'll be right back with Liam Neeson. You better take the three million and run. Hey, pal. If I had the three million, I might. In that case, I suggest you just run. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that is a movie clip. We are back with Liam Neeson. <laughs> I like that. That's called Honest Thief. You play a bank robber. Who wants to go straight? Yeah. yeah, he wants to go straight. He's fallen in love with this one. I keep forgetting I should look at the little green light. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bank robber who wants to go straight. He's, he's fallen in love with this wonderful woman, played by the great Kate Walsh. And uh, he wants to be honest with her and start afresh. And he's in love for the first time. Uh huh. And his, Guy in his mid fifties, and, and she uh, she gets to ride along yeah. with him while he blows up an enemy's house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> turns, turns the both of us off. <laughs> that, would, that would be a red flag for a lot of ladies, but not for Gabe Walsh. <laughs> you, at this point in your <laughs> career, you probably get a mountain of, of scripts. And how do you know? And I'm sure somebody whittles through them for you in some way. But how long does it take you to know? when you're reading a script, whether you're in or out or maybe in? Well, I have a, I have, I call it my cup of tea test. If I open the script and start reading it, uh, and if after page five or six, I want to get up and make a cup of tea, that's not a good sign. Okay, interesting. Now, but what if it's so riveting that you have to get like a cup of chamomile to calm yourself down? No. No. no, I'm not a chamomile fan. You're not a chamomile guy. <laughs> but, but if, I, if I've read it all the way through in one sitting, that's usually a good sign. Good sign. Yeah, I heard Bono right. sent you a script that you yeah. wound up making into a film. How did that happen? Uh, well, Bono's a pal, mm -hmm. and uh, he talked about this producer wanted to, to uh, send me this script about a couple... Uh, it's about breast cancer, a uh, serious subject. And I, he said, you have to read this. It's, it's, there's something about it that's really special. And it passed the cup of tea test, to cut a <laughs> long story short. And we shot it in Belfast uh, two years ago with the wonderful British actress, Leslie Manville. And uh, she played my wife, I was her husband. And uh, it's, it's a lovely film. If you didn't film. like it, if you got up to make a cup of tea, let's say 10 pages in, would you continue reading it just out of respect for Bono? 
Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And yeah, how do you know Bono? How did you guys become friends? Um, I, I said, he asked me for an autograph or something. <laughs> 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 is it true that you auditioned for a part in the movie The Princess Bride? Uh, I didn't audition, but I, I was living in London and I was asked to go and meet Rob Reiner, the director, uh -huh. Meathead. Uh huh, right, uh, Meathead, yeah. All in the and uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I was quite nervous because I knew this was a big film and stuff. And uh, I had met the casting directors. And in LA, and um, anyway, I went into the office in London, and Rob Reiner looked at me and said, "He's not a giant. What height are you?" <laughs> I said, uh, six foot four. That, that's tall. He's not a giant." <laughs> so there was no hello, thank you. I thought, okay, anytime I see Rob Reiner, I'm going to tell him. He was very rude. However, however, he made Spinal Tap, so he's. He's forgiven. Hey, the fact that you, you first of all, you, Andre, you were auditioning for a role that Andre the Giant played is crazy to start with. Right. And that's secondly, right. um, that's probably the only time you were ever too short for a role, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know you knew it's Meathead. Did you watch All in the Family? Was that a show that you were I, aware I did. of? Yeah, 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 I liked it. Uh, I'd like it because it was based on a, on a, on a British uh, similar program that was very, very funny. Uh, to call till, till death us to part. Right. Um, but it was, uh, it, the American version was fantastic. I, th I thought it was great. Carol O'Connor. Did you know Carol O'Connor? Is he somebody that you, you knew? I, I, I met him. I mm -hmm. met him once or twice. I think he had a restaurant at one time in LA. Uh, I, I met Mr. Mr. O'Connor, yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, did you want to see my trout again? Should we uh, just Please. put that up one more time? Oh, look, it's another one. It's a cutthroat. <laughs> Liam sure. Neeson, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Give me one final question. What, what weight of rod? Is that a five weight? That's a six, six weight. Six weight rod, yeah, that I was using that day. Okay. Okay. I just, <laughs> I just use a five, five weight, one piece, six foot, Lee Wolf rod. That's all I use, man. You're more of a man than I am, Liam. There's no question about that. We don't have to, we no, don't have to know, spell it out. I know you're. I know you're a good fan. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us. Honest Thief opens in theaters October 16th. That's a week from today. Liam Neeson, everybody. We're back with Taylor Mike and this week in Unnecessary Subject Champ. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.